Tonight, a fundraiser for a local teen critically hurt during a hit and run in Greenfield. 16 year old Trevor Lee Morrison was hit in late May after he ran onto Loomis Road during a water gun fight. The driver hit the teen and never stopped. This morning, a show of support for Morrison with a car wash and a brat fly. This as the teen is making a remarkable recovery. Update, he's off the breathing too. So he's breathing on his own now, which is amazing from what he went through. So it's pretty rough right now, but by the grace of all the prayers, he's going to get through this. Prosecutors have charged 34 year old Walter Greeby of Muskego with hit and run causing great bodily harm. Prosecutors say officers used a license plate left at the scene to track him down. Tonight, a 16 year old is in jail following an overnight police chase in Mount Pleasant. That chase started just after 11 o'clock last night when Mount Pleasant officers say they tried to pull over a speeding SUV near Emerson Road and Spring Street. Police say the teen that they eventually arrested a 16 year old driver after chasing the car to a dead end street. Officers say the 16 year old was taken to the hospital, then the juvenile detention center where he failed an OWI test. Officials say the teen took his mother's car without her permission. Tonight, a 13 year old passenger also in the car was not injured. Police at this hour still searching for two passengers who ran away during that pursuit. The Keele School District has ended its sexual harassment investigation into three middle school students accused of using the wrong pronouns when addressing a fellow student. The case prompted numerous bomb threats across the city. Does Will feel any responsibility for what's transpired in the community? No, look, within minutes of hearing about these threats, we um, uh, condemn them. Uh, whoever did this, whatever their motivation is, I hope they're arrested and sent to prison. Rick Essenberg is the president and represents the three eighth grade students, president of the Wisconsin Institute for Law and Liberty. They're calling, they called for the district's investigation to end. Sunday morning on Upfront, whether a federal lawsuit against the school is still being considered. Join us Sunday morning at 9 o'clock. Today, the Wisconsin Cannabis Expo hosted the Shepherd, hosted by the Shepherd Express, making a return to downtown Milwaukee. This after a brief hiatus because of the pandemic. 12 News' Gabriella Garza tonight was there for the one day event, which highlights growers, dispensaries, and testers. We're, we're trying to just educate. We're trying to give people real information. With more than 90 vendors here, it gives people the opportunity to buy and learn more about the cannabis and hemp industry. Gummies, balms, and beverages. Actually, I kind of like cookies. <laughs> I like the cookie monster. Even options for your pets. How has it made a difference in your life being able to use these different products? It's helped a lot because considering that it's either pain pills or CBD, CBD is way better. After sustaining a back injury, Robert Alexander is left with constant pain, but CBD has given him a new lease on life. They're not psychoactive, so there's a lot of things that can really help people with a lot of different ailments and they won't get you high and they'll just help you feel better to live a better life. Attendees have the opportunity to learn more about the cannabis industry through talks with industry professionals and medical experts. There were even discussions on legalization. We can begin to see some movement in the state toward, uh, I think, legalization of, of marijuana. Currently, medical and recreational pot are still not legal in Wisconsin. In April, there was a public hearing at the state capitol on a Republican-backed measure to legalize medical marijuana. But the earliest that the bill could go to a vote is next year. I feel like we're kind of behind the eight ball, especially all the states that surround us have it legal. And I really feel, even if it's not for um, casual use, but for medical, they definitely should have it. In Milwaukee, Gabriela Garza, WISN 12 News. Organizers say they plan to bring back this one day event each year. Still come here this Saturday evening celebrating the accomplishments of Wisconsin's Special Olympics team. Up next in just minutes, state and city leaders helping send them off in grand fashion today as they look for gold during the USA Games in Orlando. Plus, gas prices continuing to surge to new records tonight, both across the state and country. The three things some experts say are contributing to the spike. 
and rain continues to move east ahead. I'll, I'll let you know how much rain we've seen so far and how much more you can expect as showers continue into Sunday. And before we go to break, a programming note, 12 News is adding more news in the afternoon. On Monday, 12 News at 4 debuts with anchors Kristen Pierce, Derek Rose, and Chief Meteorologist Mark Baden. The hour-long newscast will air weekdays after Ellen, right here on WISN 12. New tonight, sending off the Wisconsin Special Olympics team in style. State and city leaders on hand this afternoon to help celebrate the team at Pfizer Forum. The Special Olympic athletes being honored as they loaded a bus now headed for Orlando tonight where the USA Games are taking place. The really important thing about the Special Olympics to me is that it really talks about inclusion and making sure that everybody has a, has a place in our society. And these, these folks are going to go to Orlando and bring home some gold, and I'm just so proud of them. The Special Olympics kick off tomorrow in Orlando. Wisconsin has 100 athletes representing the state. The Games will run through the 12th. Right now, the final day of Pride Fest is underway on the Summerfest grounds. Here's a live look at Meyer Festival Park. The festival celebrates Milwaukee's LGBTQ community. Tonight at 9.15, a 30 minutes fireworks show, followed by a performance by Grammy nominee Martha Wash and American Idol contestant Fretchy Davis. The festival runs tonight until midnight. Meantime, the Milwaukee Pride Parade will take over Walker's Point tomorrow for the first time since 2019. The pandemic canceled the celebration in 2020 and 2021. The theme this year is Pride Is, which invites everyone the opportunity to fill in the blank with whatever it means to them. It's something we definitely need. We, we, need, we need the energy. We need some relief of finally getting out and meeting people. 
The parade starts at 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon at the corner of 2nd and Greenfield and will run north along Oregon Street. Right now, a new nationwide gas price record is set. A gallon of regular gas now at $4.82 this evening. That's up 5 cents just from yesterday. Wisconsin prices also continuing to break records tonight. According to AAA, the average gas price for a gallon of gas is $4.75. Even higher tonight in Milwaukee County where gas has inched above $5 a gallon. Prices usually peak by mid-May, but experts tonight say they don't expect to see prices come down at any point. By the end of the year, gas prices probably won't be meaningfully lower than where they are today with only small portions of relief here and there. And it's going to be a very frustrating and long summer for motors filling their tank. Experts say the war in Ukraine sanctions on Russian oil and summer travel are some of the major contributing factors to the spike currently in place. Now to Weather Watch 12, Daji is here. Daji, some of the rain, it struggled to reach the ground across parts of the area today. It really did. Last night, I kept saying, if the dry air wins, it's really going to win. And that's what happened today that limited the chance of showers, especially during those morning hours. And that continued into the afternoon. So as we take a look at our rainfall totals, they're not super impressive over the past 24 hours. Here in Milwaukee, only picking up about a trace. This is radar indicated. And some areas, too the south less than two tenths of an inch in places like uh, Burlington as well as in the portions of uh, Kenosha and Racine County. Now most of that heavier more steadier rain was out to the west there closer to Madison and Fitchburg and that's where we're seeing some rain at this moment that's going to continue to move in across our area. Hopefully that dry air if you are looking forward to the rain uh, does not win out but right now in a water town is where we've been noticing some of those steadier showers entering along Interstate 94 mainly to the north. Temperatures right now sitting in the upper 60s here in Milwaukee 65 in Port Washington. If you're in Watertown, Oconomowoc, low 60s. We are going to remain pretty warm overnight in the mid 50s for most of our overnight lows. Once again, today was an impact day and we're likely going to continue to see impact conditions here as we head into our 12 hour forecast and that's because we think rain's going to continue into the overnight as well as into our Sunday morning. Some of that could be a bit steady as we head through the overnight. Showers are likely if you're going to be a rider tomorrow at the Ride for the Arts. Grab the poncho. I know it said that yesterday, but it's always nice to have just in case these showers become more than a sprinkle. Looking at on and off rain and then some dry time is possible. As we continue into our future cast here through tonight, showers will try to make its way closer to Milwaukee, Oak Creek, as well as McGuanago. As we continue into your Sunday overnight, that's where we see much of that moisture lifting through the area. Then we get a break into Sunday morning and into the afternoon. After Sunday afternoon and evening, we keep our eye once again for some showers and even the potential for some storms late Sunday night into our early Monday morning. This is where we have that second batch of of some steadier rain. So once again, that's where we're going impact. If you do plan to be out late tonight, you want that umbrella. We'll also see some steadier rain, as I mentioned, Sunday night and Monday morning, and we can't rule out some thunderstorms. Here's a look at that forecast. It's still below average 66 here Sunday, low 70s Monday and Tuesday, but we do return to some sunshine by Tuesday highs in the low 70s Wednesday with another chance for showers and thunderstorms. So we're starting to get a bit more moisture here with this pattern, but at least we have Tuesday to look forward to where we can pull back out the sunglasses, sit on the patio without having to worry about uh, the sprinkles kind of ruining and ruining our outdoor time. We'll look forward to it. All right, Daji, thank you. Coming up in sports, the Brewers pitching and hitting, struggling in game three against the Padres. Stephanie Sutton standing by next for Big 12 Sports.